So here we've shown the number of packages that are shipped daily by each of these five companies and the question is uh, which of these uh, has the greatest uh, standard deviation. So we're really looking for the dispersion from the mean and if you notice that these two are quite close to the mean here, the average is going to be something around uh, 41, 42. Uh, and they're all pretty close, so the deviations, these numbers are not that far, so we know these two are out. The others you can actually compute, so for example, this one, uh, 120, 190, uh, 240 is the sum, so the average is 60, so the deviation is 0, 0, plus 10, meaning 10 to the right, 10 to the left. So you're going to be squaring these deviations and adding them. So we just have to compare those deviations. If you look here, that's 100, that's 200 divided by 4, that's 50. So here the deviations are 0, 0, plus 5, and minus 5. So clearly A is less than E. This is the most promising here, uh, 60, 70, 80. Average is 20, so the deviations are plus 10, plus 10, minus 10, minus 10. And we're going to be squaring these deviations and adding them. So it would be actually 10 squared plus 10 squared plus 10 squared plus 10 squared, and then we go and compute it. So here the answer is B. So you just have to do this qualitatively, but sometimes you can compute the average if you're a little bit uh, confused between some of these choices. So the answer is uh, B.